sodalite occurs only in very alkali-rich rocks, quartz undersaturated, so you won't find quartz with it. It will commonly occur with K-feldspar. That's what those brownish clay-altered grains are. What's special about sodalite is that it is in the cubic crystal system, so it's isotropic when you cross the polars, so it just goes black. It also has low relief. You'll see that in all of these other videos. Here we are again. This is the same rock. K feldspar around the outer edges with the brownish clay alteration. Sodalite in the middle, low relief, can barely tell it from the K feldspar. But cross the polars and you see that it's black. So again, isotropic. There are not very many cubic crystal system minerals in the world, and so sodalite can usually be picked out because of that. A different rock with gigantic sodalite crystals. Most of this field of view is sodalite. You can't even tell until you cross the polars. Then you'll see that almost the entire field of view goes black. and another section of the same rock. Almost all of this is going to turn out to be sodalite. I don't know what the little specks are in sodalite. I don't know if that's alteration or some inclusions. I have only a couple of samples that have sodalite in them, and they all have these little specks. <laughs>